Next thing we have is R2, which is a 100K 2 watt resistor. So we're going to go ahead and install this on the board. And just want to go ahead and look in this thing and see where we want to bend these leads, which is about right there. Pretty much eyeballing it. Once we have those leads bent, we'll t pick up the microphone and place that right into it. And on the back side, you can pull the leads. And once it's placed, you'll want to bend them. And we'll flip this over and go ahead and solder those in. Make sure you have these wires out of the way so you don't burn them with your soldering iron. That would sure make a bad day. Once you have that placed, go ahead and grab your soldering iron and solder that on. Once that's done, go ahead and clip those leads off. Now when you're moving this microphone around, make sure you don't knock these components off. That would be bad. Okay, so we'll find the next component and add it on here. Next, we're going to be moving on to C4, which is right here, and it's located right there on the microphone. Uh, this is the stock uh, version that comes with the, uh, with the kit, and I went ahead and bought some Mallory um, 150 uh, caps uh, to replace uh, some of these uh, capacitors, just because um, I wanted more of a vintage sound on this, and these are definitely uh, good sounding capacitors. So. Uh, we are going to go ahead and place this. This one says uh, 1000 PF, and earlier I was explaining that you can read it as 0 .001 uh, microfarads or UF. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take this and place it right into C4. And this is why we didn't solder this part earlier, uh, is because this capacitor slips in with the same holes as those resistors. A little bit of a tight fit. Sorry for pulling the microphone away there. But once we get it in there, looks just like that. So once it's in there, go ahead and flip that over. And you can turn some of these to the side. Now this is going to be a tricky soldering because of these wires being so close. I don't want to get those ruined by the soldering iron. So uh, go ahead and grab the solder and your soldering iron and go ahead and tin the tip just like normal. Flick off the solder and get in here and add some heat, a little bit of solder. Get those soldered. Perfect. Just like that. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take these wires and move them to the other side. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing down here. Add the heat. Add a little bit of solder. Wait for that to come on there. Go ahead and just work that heat in there. There we go. That one is done. And so now what we can do is we can go ahead and take these and trim this off. Okay. So C4 is done. Mark that off. Next we have C5 and C3, both of them being 0 0.022 microfarads. I also upgraded these capacitors to Mallory 150 caps. Um, so let's go ahead and install these. Now the one tricky thing about these ones is they are larger than the holes. As you can see being there's C3 and that's the size of my capacitor. So 
Uh, one thing I did have to do is bend the leads in and then down just a little bit. So when we slip this in, you'll see that it will slip, sit off of the board just a little bit, which is fine for me. You'll want to make sure um, that the microphone uh, lid will fit over um, the capacitor, so you'll want to just eyeball that and make sure. And so you can eyeball that from the top, and you can see that that will not get in the way of the case. So once that's in there, go ahead and bend these to the side. That's good. And grab the other one. Go ahead and slip that into C5. Just like that. Make sure that the leads aren't touching anything else. Just like that. And bend those leads down and solder those. So I'm going to go ahead and solder those while I'm not recording. And so C3 is done and C5 is done. We'll see what, what things I mount next.